A Turkish artist who relocated to South Africa is now using her talent and teaching skills to keep young girls from disadvantaged backgrounds off the streets in the St. Francis Bay area. Teaching them the beauty of art and that what you see is not always what you get. The beauty of the art is the element of surprise. A different technique, but definitely an interesting one. Buju Kanin first came to South Africa last year in April on holiday. Now she has relocated from Turkey. Her dream has been to use her talent and knowledge to uplift the community and share different artistic methods. She shows us the power of reality art and how she uses objects and people as a canvas. I never show looks like the fabric. I show that looks like the art, you know. And uh, I'm doing is the same one as the abstract. Is the color is be looks like way coming into each other, you know. Buju says she has always been astonished by art, but formally studied art from 17. However, it is only six years ago that she fell in love with art and is now able to feel and see art everywhere. Back home in Turkey, she was an art teacher and says this is her passion. She now has a class of nine girls whom she is teaching art and also using them as her subject from time to time. The girls are able to pick what theme or story they want to tell through the art. And um, we feeling because my English not perfect and their Turkish is not no. <laughs> never <laughs> chance and uh, our each other uh, language is the art. Coming from the poverty-stricken areas in and surrounding St. Francis Bay, the girls say the class is definitely something new, but they're enjoying it. The classes keep them away from social ills and they have found a platform to express themselves. They all look forward to the meetings and they learn more than just art. The area is a job scarce area and many are unemployed. Some of the girls have dropped out of school, this while others look to find bursaries to one day further their studies. It's really just an enrichment in their lives, something that they're not normally exposed to. And yeah, from that point of view, it just, I think, adds to confidence. The classes are very different to your usual classes and reality art is new to the girls, but Bougie believes this is the best way to teach. This is very good for teaching art, you know, because art, not just the technique, not only about the technique, mm. but when you want to learn art or want to make art, everybody teach you first the technique. Yeah. No, wrong. You first the feeling art. Mm. You know. Apart from the paints that have been used, the artist also uses recyclable material, such as the cardboard, the black plastic bag, which now is a piece of art, the neck piece, which is also cardboard. Everything is recyclable, except for the human canvas. For background, I'm painting as the wall paint. You will see that. Okay. Yeah. And then, yes. And for dress and accessoire, this one is a wool and acrylic. Okay. And for skin, is a, I use is the finger paints, Giotto. The aim is to have bigger classes that will teach the community how to capitalize on their talents. Art classes that will include concrete furniture, ceramic, sewing, and beading. But many look to learn more of the reality art. This art technique uh, looks like be therapy art. Not for just a drunk or another another person, as a just for person, as a you know. When I'm doing it the art, I will be looks like make yoga. I will be looks like be running. I will be looks like be surfing. You know, it's give me feeling as the peaceful. Previously in Turkey, she used her talent to create awareness around issues affecting the public. She plans to do the same here in South Africa to draw attention to the stories of ordinary citizens. Tell us a bit about um, home and how you created your art um, at home to create awareness in the community. I like to touch the people's spirit, you know. And in the Turkey, I'm doing the project art. Mm -hmm. What does mean this is a first project, a cancer person, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm painting the one ladies. She's lost the half face. She's skin cancer, mm -hmm. and the ten years never eating anything, just uh, with formula. Yes. Um, but when I'm doing is her art, the looks like a miracle. Kanin plans to explore avenues to create an art hub generating an income for the public in the area. If we're Bordi, SABC, St. Francis Bay.